Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to do a review slash demo on the Morphe 35F palette. I just got this for my birthday for my best friend, and I, I, it, I mean, it's one of the best eyeshadow palettes slash eyeshadow in general that I've ever used, especially for the price that is. The pigment is literally insane. Um, yeah, I, I really wanted this palette because it has a nice variety of tones to it. Um, it kind of varies from, you have, like, your light shades, your dark shades, it has some cool tones, along with your really warm tones, too. Um, because I really wanted the 350 palette, which everyone freaks out about, which, I mean, it's understandable. Um, it was all warm colors. And I wanted my first, um, shot with Murphy, and Morphe, sorry, and this is my first Morphe thing I've ever owned. I wanted to have a good variety of tones so I can give it a fair judgment. And... I fell in love the moment I swatched them and saw how pigmented these things were. Um, the palette's great. It runs for, I believe, $22.99. Um, I don't think shipping was too bad. And then there's a code. Everyone has a code out there to get some kind of discount off of it. But, um, yeah, I really like this product. Um, some of these swatches, colors that I didn't use on this look but I'm obsessed with would be, um, for one, this orange here. Like, look at this. Where's an area that doesn't have a swatch on it? Look at that. Like, what the? And then this gold here. I absolutely love really shimmery bright shades, so that's why these are two of my favorites. I mean, look at that. That's not real. That didn't just happen. And even these light shades, like, oh my goodness. Just look at that on my finger. Look at all of these on, well, they're kind of coming off now. But, like, as it applies, it's just, like, already foiled. Like, come on now. That's magical. But, I mean, I love it. I have no negative things um, other than, I mean, the palette gets dirty. It's black. You can't really avoid that. So, I mean, if you're, like, real crazy about that, I would just wash your hands after every time you touch it and before you touch it just to be extra safe. And I do wish that there were some matte light shades in this palette. Um, I mean, if you're kind of tanned in the darker complexions, maybe, like, this would be a nice, like, kind of brown highlight. But for someone as pale as I am, I really have to kind of use... This one and maybe into that one, and they are uber sparkly, which is great for, like, my lid, but for brow bone, I'm not a big fan of that crazy shimmery brow bone highlight, especially when doing, like, darker looks like this. That would be my only negative thing. Um, I heard a couple complaints about people talking about that, like, some of these shades, like, the reds and stuff all apply very similar, but in these, like, light ones, too. And they do. It's close. But for me, that's a good thing because those are my favorite shades in the palette. So I have, like, three of each of them because I know I'm going to go through those things and hit pan real quick. Um, but, yeah, aside from that, um, I hope that review was helpful. It was brief because I, it's just amazing. Buy it. Buy all of the palettes. I'm going to buy all of the palettes next. Um, but, yeah, but keep watching if you want to learn how to do this fun eye look that I did. Thanks. <laughs>
you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I did notice that I kind of didn't show the entire palette. I, the whole Zoom thing is new to me. But just to go over um, one more time all of the colors that I used. Um, I used this light shade here on my brow bone. I did this. I used that one in my crease along with that one. And then I did this one in the whole crease to kind of deepen everything out. Um, and then I did the corner with, I mixed a little bit of the black first and then this really pretty deep plum shade over here. Um, that is what is on my lid and that is what is in my inner corner. Um, but yeah, that was really awesome. I, that's one of the first times I've really like super put it on my eyes, like really done a look and almost minimal effort, nothing, nothing went crazy or haywire. Um, it blended great. It was super easy. Those shades just like melt on like butter. Um, to complete the look, I did do a little bit of eyeliner on the top and bottom, um, along with I smudged the dark red shade underneath my eyes. Um, I didn't want to put lashes on because I wanted to like to see the look as much as possible. So I didn't um, put a lot of definition around there. Just enough that I didn't crazy um and then just to complete the look I did like my foundation and all that basic stuff but for blush I used the um revolution the matte blush in the shade nude this is amazing this brand is super inexpensive I've kind of just stumbled upon it this is the only thing I have from them but I've swatched some of the other products my friend has three of their highlighters and it's insane like this is five dollars like five dollars and Like, look at that. And it doesn't come out powdery like that on. It kind of just melts on really easily. And then for my lips, I used my um, MAC in Sin. It's one of their matte lipsticks, kind of buffed it on. And I did use the palette for a little bit of a multi-purpose thing. My highlighter I have on today is this very light shade at the top. That's what's in my inner corner on my brow bone. And then I took a little bit of this red shade, which was the second crease color I used. And I put that on top of the Sin just to kind of finish it all off. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed everything. Please like, subscribe, tell all your friends about it, um, and I will keep doing more of these for you guys. Alright, have a great day. Bye.